With an election set for this June in Papua New Guinea, women are being encouraged to seek office. Eagle News correspondent Echo Hortaleza Kinyola has more on the story. Here in Papua New Guinea, only seven women have been elected in the national parliament in its 46 years of independence. Urging the Social Democratic Party to endorse more female candidates in the coming election. 65 aspiring women leaders attended a three-day workshop training themed Practice Parliament for Aspiring Women in Preparation for Contesting Seats in the National Election. National Capital District Honorable Governor Poe Sparkop calls on women leaders of the country to be involved in and advocate gender equality in the nation. During the workshop, political levels and issues Sentiments and other questions are raised and addressed. A certain level of gender equality or bringing women into the balance, into the equation, has a consequential change in the social, economic, all the sectors. This is why we need this change. We need leadership uh, that is both male and female, that is providing good, passionate, quality leadership for our country. Dr. Alphonse Gelu speaks on good governance and parliamentary leadership, while Honorable Governor Poe Sparkop discussed the role of government, opposition, and committees inside and outside parliament. That leadership is not only for men. Eh? Leadership is meant for both men and women. So democracy as a system, democracy as an ideology, basically gives equal opportunity. It gives equal opportunity to both men and women. Women in Papua New Guinea are called upon today to brave the world of governance for a more progressive tomorrow. Echo Hortaleza Quinola, Oceania at a glance, Eagle News.